Now, the ANC is expected to head to the Electoral Court in Bloemfontein today to challenge the registration of the Umkonto West Sizwe Party. The ANC argues that there were procedural flaws in the way that the party was registered by the Deputy Chief Electoral Officer Mawetu Mosuri. It says that the MK Party was supposed to launch a fresh application and not supplement its original and initial application, which was rejected by Mosuri. For more on this story, let's cross now to our reporter in Bloemfontein, Kenny Mapanga. Kenny, good morning. And of course, as election season hots up, this is a very important story. So what do we know to this point and what is to be expected today? Well, good morning to you, Sakina, and to the viewers at home. Of course, what you can expect is that the ANC will be hauling the Electoral Commission to the Electoral Court of South Africa, which sits here in Bloemfontein Free State, where they'll be trying to review a decision of the Deputy Chief Electoral Officer to register the Mkonto We Sizwe political party. Now, the grounds of this review is that the ANC is stating that you cannot register a party on a supplemented application. They needed to be a fresh application and they're basing it on this August uh, 2023 letter rather that the IEC wrote to Mkonto Wesizwe uh, assisting it in its application saying that the Deeds Foundation had not been in compliance with what they needed in order to register the party then instructing them to do so. We understand that Mkonto Wesizwe then met those requirements and was subsequently registered in September last year. Now MK lawyers will be arguing that this is an erroneous application by uh, the ANC and it is uh, not a uh, urgent application as they've contended in papers and that the IEC had a constitutional mandate to assist Mkonto Wesizwe in, in ensuring that their application met the requirements in terms of the constitution which affords all the rights to form a political party and to contest the general elections. Now we expect there's a lot of hive of activity here in Bloemfontein. We've already seen the MK setting up a stage not too far from the court as well as an ANC stage on the other side and we expect that MK leaders, as well as ANC leaders, including the DSG who joins me now shortly, to sit in those proceedings as we hear that very important matter today, because if the ANC is successful, essentially they would have invalidated the registration of Mkonto Wesizwe, which has implications for the 2024 ballots. But to uh, elaborate further on this, I am joined by the DSG Nambula Mukonyane uh, on behalf of the ANC this morning as they attempt uh, to review the decision of the Deputy Chief Electoral Officer, which the IAC is not within, says is not within the jurisdiction of this court. Essentially, what you're trying to do has the implications of risking the um, contestation of Mkonto Wesizwe in the 2024 polls. And some may argue that the interest in this party by the ANC only arise when you learnt that the former president of the ANC, Jacob Zuma, and ANC member currently is involved with this party. Morning and morning to the viewers. Um, in fact, it is not about a reaction because of uh, the former president. It is about fairness and consistency. That uh, there was a response from the IEC, and that response actually, for us, it's neither the issue of it being technical or not, but it is about uh, uh, explaining to those who wanted to apply that uh, they have to comply. The second thing is about uh, protecting what is our own heritage, what is of origin coming from the ANC and the South African Communist Party in terms of the formation of uh, Umkonto Wesizwe. And that uh, thirdly, we do believe that uh, everybody has uh, a freedom of association, but that freedom of association cannot be used to undermine the identity as well as the origin of um, the brand uh, Umkonto, Umkonto Wesizwe. And uh, it is not a complementary body to the African National Congress, as it was alluded um, in the public platforms that it has been established to assist the ANC. What would assist the ANC is us working together with the people of South Africa and um, those who are interested to contest the ANC, establishing themselves with their, with their independent identity. Well, papers revealed that the ANC knew as early as 11 September, which was a few days after the 7 September decision by the IEC to register Mkonto 
Zimbabwe says that they had been registered and did not use those uh, processes or the electoral processes in time to do so. So this is a self-created urgency by coming to the electoral court now. We would have expected that uh, in those processes the IEC would have uh, notified those that uh, are, are concerned or affected given also the, 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 the letter that went out previously. So for us it's not even about the if and, and when, it is about uh, a principle that we are here to come and contest and defend what is ours. All right, thank you very much. That is the DSG of the ANC, Nomvula Mokonyane, here at the Electoral Courts of South Africa ahead of that 9.30 a.m. proceeding where the ANC will face off with the IEC over the registration of Umkonto Wesizwe. Now, we expect that those proceedings will start at 9.30. SABC will be giving you that rolling coverage inside the court as well as the activities that we expect to be taking outside the court.